welcome to another video. I'm Elle and I do weekly ethical fashion videos. It's really quiet and early. It's a Saturday um, and yeah, I feel like tired. I feel tired. There's a lot of different reasons why I'm tired, but today I am excited actually to go back to my college um, to visit. I'm gonna go to their annual fashion show. They have like this alumni lunch brunch thing at 12 and so 1 30 and then they have the fashion show at 2 p.m today. So we live an hour away and I wanted to get ready and look decent. So we've been up for a while doing my hair um, And yeah, I'm gonna show you along. If you haven't ever heard of Dominican University, it's a private, like, liberal arts college. Um, it's very Catholic, and most people go there because they want to get, like, a master's in library science. There's a lot of nerdy people, but then there's, like, a really good business program. So a lot of people actually go there to get their BA in business or their master's in business. So a lot of business librarian types of people walking around is a vibe. Um, but my hair is pretty much straightened. I'm trying to figure out how to put it down a bit. It's just not computing for the second. The second. My makeup is also smearing which is not a good sign. I think I'm just gonna be doing this. This is why I woke up so early, because I know my hair refuses to straighten. Like it just refuses to cooperate. And it's just, and it looks so stringy. I can always push it back like this. It gives it a cleaner look, because it's not cooperating in the front. Um, but then it just kind of looks boring like that. It brings more of the attention to the face and my makeup is not staying. I think I'm gonna fix my eyeliner. But for those that don't know, I studied fashion merchandise and business administration from this university in 2019 which was five years ago and i'm 27 years old and i haven't been at the school really since so it's been like four years since i haven't really visited school done anything around the school it looks better it looks so much better It doesn't really work, but you know, we win some, we lose some battles. That looks decent. So I'm thinking about actually putting some. People have a lot of energy for a side. I'm actually watching. What is it? The Try Guys. They're actually really relaxing to watch in the morning. But I'm gonna put these little green earrings on. I've been really into this sort of light matcha green color. Cute. I wanted to go on a dress today, um, especially because I'm going to be doing some like networking and chit-chatting, but I think just casual is going to make it more comfortable. And I just realized this is burning my chair. <laughs> Over there. The thing is with like alumni networking things, I get really nervous. Like I don't know what they're gonna ask or what they want. And I'm gonna go alone. So I'm most likely just gonna linger for a couple of minutes and then walk away and look at the school. I have like lice or something. Must be like the hair straightener. I don't know. There's some weight. A little bit stiffer. And then I need a 
put some extra earrings. This just kind of looks boring. So I was thinking about doing some more options. I have a whole bag full of stuff. I may put these sort of oceanic, what are these called? I forgot what these are called, it's too early. <laughs> how it looks it's a lot it kind of looks tacky mm -hmm. but i do like this bracelet that i just saw right now i think it'll go well with the color scheme we'll see if it stays because it's a little bit loose and it just kind of like comes off i may actually not wear this look at the difference look at <laughs> yeah i'm not wearing that it's kind of sad but I found this, which I think will go perfectly with the color scheme. I'm just gonna probably tie it in the back. It's just so long. I don't know how to put it on there. I can tie it. I can do like a tie moment. Make a bow. So I think I got my outfit down. So I'm gonna actually wear this like leather jacket. Um, I was gifted by a relative. And then I have these also thrifted necklaces and then thrifted earrings. And then this was bought at a flea market in Mexico. I think it's originally from the United States. It's definitely like a Y2K American thing. And then these are the thrifted wide-legged pants. Um, thrifted bag that I got from Illinois with a scarf that I also thrifted from a thrift store in Montana. And I'm gonna be wearing these. So yeah, that's the look. Okay, so this is Dominican University. I finally made it after driving 1.5 hours, one and a half hours. Who says 1.5 hours anyways? But it was a very cute Saturday day. It was very sunny and yeah, it's very beautiful liberal arts college. Sorry, the camera's so shaky, but that is actually the fashion door. It goes down into like the sewing classes and those windows actually can kind of show you the sewing machines. I spent a lot of hours in there. It's very torturous. Those windows kind of felt like a little escape from hell. But yeah, the campus is super pretty. There is a lot of cute trees. The architecture is beautiful. That's like a little statue moment. I don't really know what it means, but it's there. People can sit on it love the arched windows again very aesthetic it kind of looks like hogwarts if you kind of take a look at it um lewis hall is like where everyone takes photos it's the main entrance it's actually like really intriguing for people to just be like oh let me take a little instagram photo but here's a courtyard a lot of different like weddings and movies and shows come here to film which is super entertaining um, a lot of people actually leave on the weekends to go home. It's a commuter school, so it's pretty empty. Um, oh, and then here's the fashion show. So it started off with featuring bags, which I kind of got surprised about. But yeah, a handbag designer, I think, sponsored the fashion show somehow, maybe with money. And I think one of their agreements was to feature their bags. I'm not sure if the pieces are made by students or if it was just styled by the handbag designer but the models are students and i guess it'll be like a good resume builder for them to say that they ran they walked a runway for them so this is actually one of the first collections we saw from students i'm not quite sure if it was all from one student or different students coming together for this one collection they didn't specify in the pamphlet but I'm assuming it was from one designer one student designer this piece I was kind of confused about and then that piece was really gorgeous but it seemed very outdated again but it's it's nice um, it's nice work generally knowing that these fashion students are you know on a journey of still becoming legit fashion designers I didn't see any cohesion in this collection, so I'm assuming it's different designers coming together. 
to make like elegant dresses but I liked how they included you know black and brown models they used different body types it's very flowy very ele very elegant very just Greek goddess vibes um, so that was super interesting to see I was actually really impressed but kind of confused about cohesion and then the next collection was basically showcasing the designs students have made using block print and patterns so every model is wearing a different piece from a different designer that are still learning to sew we only have fashion merchandise and fashion design students so i think some pieces are better because some are actually learning fashion design and others just are forced to take design classes as their merch program so but they all generally looked good. They kind of look like fast fashion pieces. So to have them be able to design these things and pull it off is actually really impressive. And also just sad to say that most students will enter into fast fashion companies. So I think it's just like a good way to understand patterns and know what works well. Um, I love the setting of the fast show. There was a lot of like good lighting and there was like little performances. I am not sure where this was inspired from, but the print's pretty and they match the fabrics well. And this was a super interesting collection. I'm not sure if we actually made the fur coat. They didn't specify what items were specifically made and what were like accessories or add-ons. So I was kind of confused about that. But this collection was honestly my favorite. You can really tell there was a lot of great skill and detail put into the clothing, into the performance, into the models. Um, I think this is a senior collection of someone that was going to graduate this year. Um, she just looked amazing. Like You can tell she was really working with a dress. This model was having fun. I think the teal was a bit much against her skin but it looked like it would be good for a wedding or something. And this this student slash model had like a full on fake performance. At first I thought she was actually performing, but she wasn't. But the dress looked beautiful. It kind of looked costumey-ish, but I mean, imagine making that yourself. It'd be hard to do that, so no judgment. It's just a little fuzzy thing we could have probably done without. To make it look a little bit more elegant and this one i was kind of, kind of confused what was happening here there's a lot of green shades and it kind of reminded me of like a bird like a parrot but i yeah i didn't know what the inspiration was and that was the designer that's the student right there so she was given flowers that's so cute oh and this was my favorite part so just incorporating the stairs in the room made the whole fashion show so much more dynamic and they were like showing these balls ornaments i'm not quite sure what was happening but it was fun i wish the mod the models with the balls were dressed but i guess they were just ornaments but this was like a fantasy collection from one student designer um those pants were kind of interesting it's just it was super tight at the back and it kind of felt out of place with the one that came next, this one. See, this one is so elegant, so beautiful. It's very fantasy-ish, but I have no idea what they were trying to accomplish or what the inspiration was or what the goal was, but very, very cute. This one I could see at a couture show or like a red carpet sort of event. So I was giving less fantasy. I wish they could have done like more accessories in the hair to combine the different colors or they could make it a little bit more like surrealistic. But yeah, I was just trying to like see how the branding could be a bit more cohesive because there was a lot of colors. It kind of felt tacky seeing all the different shades, but I could see that there was a lot of silk. So that could be the commonality. Um, it was just like fun to watch. And everything seemed to be very well made. Except this one that's passing by with the thing on the back. It just kind of looked like a piñata. So I wasn't quite sure what was being accomplished there. But I think a different fabric could have done better. 
And this one was from another student. It kind of reminded me of Buzz Lightyear, not gonna lie. Maybe I'm being harsh, but I just didn't get the collection. I didn't know what they were trying to do, but I haven't ever seen anyone wearing this sort of things before. And then this one was a collection inspired by the bread line in Chicago. And they just started running out of nowhere. And then the models came. And this doesn't really scream Chicago, but it does scream like urban chic. The heels seem impractical, but I really like the jacket reconception. And this this look was my favorite. I love the jacket. I love the bucket hat. I love the cargo pants. I feel like this could be something that could have potential. It's just unfortunately they didn't carry on with that like silver look. Instead they went back to like the leather look. Um, I'm not sure if all the pieces were made. I think those boots were just like incorporated. And I don't know if they made the hat. That would be really cool to know. I feel like it would be cheating though if they just incorporated the jacket without making the jacket. And this dress was like the piece. Um, the peacock feature is not really screaming urban, but it did make it a bit different and more eye-catching. And that was the fashion designer that made the collection. You can't really tell she was talented and then all of the designs and people came out to, you know, be celebrated. So in some i think there is a lot of good pieces and good talent and they're still learning so i really appreciate that and i can really see that they're experimenting with creativity and with like understanding how clothing fits in the body and the messages they want to carry out and having this be maybe their first fashion show ever in their life i would say it's like not it's not a bad start at all and you can see there's just a lot of people involved so overall, it was a really nice process and I really enjoyed it. Oh my god. I completely forgot to film throughout the process, but as you saw along with the voiceovers, um, that's just like a mini overview of what I did today. And then I went to the fashion show and it just kind of reminds me like I'm in a very different like field than typical a-linear fashion designers and I feel like there's so much potential to like teach students especially if, when they're going to university for like fashion design and fashion merch or fashion business whatever that there can be countercultural, you can say or sustainable alternatives to like fast fashion which is most likely what they're going to enter into and um Put their skills into unfortunately i'm always just wondering like how can we reach the students how can we pull them away from this fast fashion sort of design and how we can put more of a story slash narrative into collections because usually it's all about the aesthetics the vibe you know but i feel like sometimes creativity and fashion needs to be so much more than for its its own sake like i feel like we as creators do things because we feel the urge to create but like we, we need to do more than just for the sake of creating we need to do more beyond the desire to make things like if we're going to make something it should be in my opinion good for the earth and good for the environment because we have we should be responsible for the impact that we have on the earth and not just like not to sound mean but dilly dally and fantasies because a lot of times collections are an imagination feat of sorts where we just like have this idea we put it down on paper we create it and we present it and we want people to like it too and i'm like that's very superficial i just kind of wonder how we can have meaning and beauty at the same time that helps everyone and maybe i'm imposing a lot of values and ideologies into creation but as it stands like i don't think we can afford to have absent-minded fashion design where these creatives these like students we're all students no matter if we're in university but where these fashion students move beyond just superficiality and like cuteness or like prettiness or like fantasy like i want us to care on a real level what we're doing and if we're not thinking about others and if we're not thinking about the planet like what are we actually doing and i think it's just like egoism i don't 
And that sounds so bad to be judging that hard, but like, how is this important if it's not helping anyone? You know, like maybe it's pretty, we put it on, but like beyond that, like what does it actually like mean to us? And I think that sense of meaning and identity with clothing is something that we're missing or lack or don't really think of. So yeah, I, got, I kind of wish there was like more reflection, more meaning, more critical thought, but I also don't want to impose myself, but I do want a better industry. So there's just a lot of like thinking that is going on inside of me and I just want fashion design students and like anyone to just design really great stuff to have those skills. I feel like we all deserve to have like design skills and like be creatives and and be visionaries. It's just we often don't know where to get those skills so we go to university, we go to like experts um, and I don't feel like we should gatekeep like good fashion design. I think we need to have like free workshops or like free events or just like free access to, to education and like why would we want to make more stuff too if the planet doesn't need more stuff. All those thoughts but it was a fun, it was a fun day but just really bogged down by reality and like thinking what are we doing and what are universities doing given they're putting so many students in debt and for what what is this what is the consequence of all this teaching for them just to become like fast fashion designers i i think there's just so much so much at stake and yet there's so many people complicit and post dating a very dirty and nasty industry that doesn't help anyone at the end of the day except for shareholders value and capitalism like keeping the system alive and i totally resonate when you need to pay bills i just wish there was more opportunities that are more sustainability geared and that was supported more versus just like an extra initiative yeah i'm hopeful we can reach more students and bring more awareness of the issues and empower more people to take action i think education is a huge thing so